Oh my god, I feel like... <laughs> I feel like I've gone back into time when I was doing like the beauty vlogs and I would always sit here in my bedroom to record the videos. I would usually sit in my own living room to record these videos but my boyfriend's working from home today and <laughs> he's got the living room. So I moved here into my bedroom. I hope you like the scenery. <laughs> you can see all my clothes behind me. Um, so I don't, I hope you don't mind the scenery. I actually kind of like it. Maybe I will do this even more often because you know, I just love being here, being surrounded with all the things that I love. So yeah. Maybe I will record more videos <laughs> in my bedroom. Who knows? Okay, so let's dive into today's episode. Alrighty, right. Welcome to the third episode of my show, Deals on Heels. My name is Lortje Euser. I'm a business mentor. I'm based in the Netherlands and I'm helping entrepreneurs to fall in love and become best sellers and i love that you're watching today i'm going to discuss how you can sell on instagram whether you're selling services or products i know that instagram offers so many opportunities for entrepreneurs to sell their products and if i'm being honest uh, most of my sales also come through instagram I think only a fraction of my sales come through other channels just like LinkedIn or Facebook or my website or podcast. The biggest chunk actually comes from Instagram. And I know that if I can sell on Instagram, you can as well because I'm not special, I'm not more special or unique than you. If I can do it, you can do it as well. And in this video, I'm going to give you lots of tips and tricks on how to sell your offer as well. So let's dive in, shall we? Okay, first thing you need in order to sell on Instagram, you need to draw the attention of your ideal clients. And I'm not really diving in too deep today uh, into what an ideal client is, but to give you a short description of what your ideal client should, should look like, it should be the person who has exactly the problems you can help this person to solve. That person is exactly looking for what you have to offer. And that person is also on the channel that you're using, which is Instagram in this case, of course. And I must say, a lot of people use Instagram. I think it's maybe it's even more popular than Facebook. Um, my audience is on Instagram because I've really targeted an audience that is really active on Instagram. But you need to define your ideal client first in order to know, like, can I sell my products here? on this medium. Second thing is that you need to draw their attention. So you need to make use of attraction marketing, as I call it, to draw the attention from your ideal customer towards your content. How you can do that is by offering highly valuable content, giving lots of tips and tricks and advice to really position yourself as the expert, using relevant hashtags, and then also making use of call to action buttons, telling your ideal clients how to buy from you and where to look and make this as easy as possible. So what you can do is really search on relevant hashtags that would really fit the things that you are selling right now. Make use of those hashtags in your post. Um, earlier on, it was like the sky was the limit with using hashtags. You could put in like 12 to 20 and those would really make it more easy for other people to find you. I think by now I advise you to use between four to six hashtags and be really precise on the hashtags that you're using and don't use hashtags that everybody's using because you know that's not specific enough. Okay so use those hashtags uh, create really high valuable content. I believe that there's not such thing as providing too much value to your potential audiences. Sometimes my clients ask me, my coaching clients ask me like, am I not giving too much away in this post? And I always say to them like, okay, so if you would post this post with <laughs> providing lots of value and somebody would step in right away and buy something from you, 
would that justify the amount of value you've provided? And the answer is always yes. So don't hold back when it comes to adding value because value is what makes you relevant, what makes people follow you. What also is very important is that we must not forget that Instagram is actually an engagement platform and I know lots of people are very good at creating content and sending lots of lots of information out there but you must interact with your audience and you must be able to create those opportunities for people to engage with you to comment on your post or to engage with you through stories I think creating that engagement through stories is one of my favorite ways of interaction because I just like the playfulness uh, in stories with all the stickers and the polls and the quizzes and I would highly advise you to make use of those possibilities on Instagram to uh, really interact with your audiences. This is also a great way to really tap into what people are uh, thinking about or what they're currently doing to really get a hint of what people are currently struggling with or what they're thinking of or what they are working at in their business for example so don't really forget to interact as well on Instagram besides providing high value uh, content and when people are commenting on your posts of course you know, <laughs> can't believe I need to say this but you really need to engage as well in the comments so when people are giving you some com uh, comments on your post don't forget to reply always reply that's my rule number one when it comes to interaction on Instagram always reply to the comments and if you get like nasty comments or something or negative comments you can choose to delete them. I don't have any problems with that. I think you should take full ownership of what you want to see in the comments on your post and whatnot. So when you're interacting and when you're providing high value content and you're giving lots of tips and how to's, etc., all kinds of relevance, information and inspiration to your ideal clients, you must create the opportunity for people to buy because that's why you're on Instagram as an entrepreneur, right? to get more eyeballs on your content, but also to convert more customers. So what I love to do is to use my stories to give direct links to my plug and pay links. That's something like Stripe. It's like the European version of Stripe, plug and pay. Um, so I really use my uh, stories to make it as easy as possible for people to buy from me but what I also did and this was in the beginning of my business I would just use direct link in bio so I would I would focus on one product during the week for example and then uh, my link in bio would directly go to the sales page of that product nowadays I don't really use any sales pages anymore I use my stories as my sales pages but um, if you have a sales page and people can purchase there directly then just put it in your link in bio directly I also love Linktree because it gives more possibilities to put in different offers or putting in different ways to work with you or putting in a link to your website to your podcast to your web shop for example so I love Linktree for that I think there are some alternatives I don't I don't really know the other alternatives but sometimes I other people's profiles I see alternatives for Linktree I use Linktree because yeah, I don't really see the benefits of using something else but uh, when I just go for something I'm very loyal <laughs> and I stay and I stay there but if you guys have any better alternatives then yeah drop them in the comments below this video because I would love to hear about those okay so you need to give people enough opportunity to buy from you and the question that I usually get is like when people find it tiring and this is a question that I answered in my previous video in my second episode so go back to the second episode if you have questions about this another thing that I would highly advise you to do is to stay very visible on social media and this doesn't mean that you have to be on social media every day although I am because I see social 
media as my work because social media gives me literally all my clients um, so uh, posting on Instagram and on Facebook and on LinkedIn I see that as a daily job but um, if you don't have the time or something you know don't put that pressure on you you don't have to be visible every day but it's it definitely helps if you're visible on a consequent basis so every other day for example or only in the weekends or um, Wednesday uh, Friday Sunday for example and that helps it also to create some kind of routine and to not let yourself get lost in your laziness or becoming very passive in the social game because if you see social media as one of the things you're responsible for as an entrepreneur you might find yourself not quitting so quickly and not giving up easily okay so we've discussed uh, your ideal client we've discussed hashtags we discussed high value content we discussed offerings through your stories and through your um, through your link in bio what you must not forget is that if you want people to buy from you you must spark that excitement because I made a, I made a reels today on my Instagram and it <laughs> And it's so funny and one of my clients also commented on <laughs> on my reels because I said in that reels like okay you can't be selling without using emotion but emotion only is not enough like telling people oh I'm so excited about this offer and I think you should buy it like that's not enough right but uh, you have to communicate the benefits for your ideal clients you have to communicate the results that they can expect from working with you um, or the benefits from the product you're selling or the features and you have to be very specific on what people are actually buying without that specificity I don't know if this is even a word but without being very specific about it people won't be eager to buy from you but um, if you're just sounding like Wikipedia for example and you're not adding a big chunk of emotion when you're selling then people won't really feel the excitement to buy from you and people love to feel excited when they buy something when I walk into a store and I get like this hello or good afternoon you know without any emotion without any excitement well I don't really feel excited to buy something there right but if you walk into a store and somebody greets you with hi good afternoon welcome just take a look around if I can help you with something then just ask don't hesitate to ask and that makes you feel very welcome and it's your job as an entrepreneur who wants to sell on Instagram to make people feel as welcome as well and to really spark that emotion that you want your potential buyer to feel when they are buying something from you this is the complete opposite of using fear-based marketing and using people's fears against them and creating that urgency I don't really believe in that I don't really believe in that kind of sales because I believe in empowered feminist sales and that's the complete opposite of using uh, people's fears against them so don't do that please okay question of the week let's dive in the question of the week the question of the week is do I need a website in order to sell my products well of course it depends on what kind of products you're selling if you're selling like jewelry it could be handy because people want to know if it's in stock for example and they want to know you know what the materials are it's, um, lots of product details but if you're selling services for example just like me and you are using your stories and your content to really inform your potential clients about the services that you provide I don't think you have to have a website no I know numerous of coaches and consultants who don't even even have a website and are selling like crazy but you need of course like a payment link otherwise people can only make wire transfers and I think that's not necessarily making it more easy to buy from you when people don't get a direct payment link but you can also use PayPal for example create PayPal links to simplify the sales process 
hope this video helps you to sell even more on Instagram. If you have any questions or you want to drop a comment, please feel free to do so. If you loved this video, please give it a thumbs up. And yes, you can also follow me on Instagram under my direct name, Lortje Euser, or connect with me on LinkedIn. I also love that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see these videos more often. And I wish you a pleasant day. Hopefully till next time. Bye bye.